everything I plan on bringing on my ski trip only using hand luggage with Erlingus. So I'm just after finishing packing for going skiing. I just have all the bits down there and we can go through it together in a second. But I just wanted to like, can anyone else relate to this? I literally, okay, it did take me ages to start packing, but like I even had a packing list written. Like I'll show it to you here like in my journal. Like I literally had a packing list written and like there's no reason for my room to be such a mess and for it to take me long to like record any of this. But like, look. Look at all my stuff. Like, does this happen to anyone else? Like, when you're packing? Like, even if you're going for, like, a night out. Like, if you're going for, like, a weekend away. Like, my room is absolutely chaotic after it. And, like, there's no reason for it. Anyway, this is all the stuff that I'm bringing. Um, I just need to tidy my bedroom. I'm just watching some Tara Michelle, which is just my favourite. Um, and going to get my room tidy and then we'll get into the video. Okay, so this is everything that I plan on bringing with me on the trip. So, sorry, I just found my ski suit is just hanging up, but um, yeah, this is everything that I plan on bringing. That is a hand luggage case. Um, I am not checking in a case because I will be going traveling for like the next couple of months. And to be honest, I just can't be bothered paying 80 euros to check in a case for one trip because that could be like a week's living in another country. Do you know that kind of way? So I'm just not, I'm not doing, doing with that. These are the outfits that I'm going to be wearing just in from the airport. I always bring a normal coat. I know this is probably unusual, but I bring one warm ski coat. Like, I actually don't really have a warm ski coat. I do be very warm when I'm skiing. So normally I have a ski suit, which I change every year. Um, I trade them on Depop every year so that I have, like, a new outfit to wear every year. And then lots of layers and, like, maybe a vintage windbreaker or something like that. And then... I wear like a normal puffer coat. So this is a long puffer coat from Zara. Um, I just find it absolutely roasting. It's proper thermal and like it goes literally from like your head down to your toe. Yeah, basically then I'm just wearing my leather jeans going and one of these t-shirts, I can't decide which, and then this warm jumper, it's not gonna fit in my case. So that's being tied around my waist. This is my hand luggage bag. I actually bought it on Amazon. I will link it for you down below. So basically I bought it so that it fits as like perfectly in the Ryanair handbag size and it's like a little bag pack there's loads of little secret pockets and stuff in it um at the back sorry now it's half open but there's like a little laptop case back there there's a full pocket there that opens up like a suitcase there's also a bottom zip here if you wanted to put like dirty boots or something in the bottom and it's in a separate case and then this pocket is like a waterproof pocket so i really like that bag i think it cost me like 30 euro so i would highly recommend that my fanny pack with all my um passport purse everything like that and then just in case anyone wants to see it like the full list of i actually bring this notebook everywhere i go like any trip that i do um i used to have like a travel book but i found that it was kind of limiting me like everything is in it so like everything from like my packing lists my plan like things that i plan on doing while i'm over there um like everything goes into this book um so yeah basically this is it so i just have a list there so this is my like full packing list if anyone is interested in like you can screenshot it there if you want um of everything that i pl plan on bringing for like a minimalistic packing like skiing packing trip and then i normally split it into like what i want to wear on the day um so there are things that like you know i'll don't have to account for in like my packing and then obviously then like my essentials so like everything for my passport my electronics my toiletries everything like that and then I always split clothes into ski gear and evening wear because I just think that like you can relax like in your thermals like there's no point in packing like you know like already cozy clothes because like you're not going to do it like if you're going to fall asleep in the middle of the day you're just going to pass out in your thermals like you're not going to be worrying about it so that's normally what um I split my packing into um so I'll start going through it slowly there, um, just to show you what I am bringing. So these are my two outfits that I plan on bringing. So the first one is just a, win a vintage windbreaker. I got this from a girl. Um, her Instagram account is Right Vintage. Um, she is based in Ireland and she gets loads for stock in. She does like story sales um, online. And this is one that I picked up from her. I think it cost me like 30 euro. And then I just have the wide leg salopettes from ASOS. Um, and then I have my ski suit. So yeah, this is also from ASOS. Um, as I said, my plan now is to swap them every year so that I have 
basically a different ski suit every year. If you're into just like having something new to wear all the time, which I am a demon for, I think it's a really good way instead of like just buying a brand new suit every year, you're swapping with people. It's like a sustainable way um, to just like have new clothes every year. Okay, onto my thermals. This is a long sleeve top from The Hike Life from Ros Parcel, um, size eight to 10. Um, they're normally for hiking, but I mean, any sports is sports. And then I just got these slightly larger sized ones. Um, these are long sleeve tops from Pennies. Um, their thermal wear is really good because I feel like you can wear them over or under other things, depending on like how warm or cold you are. My thermal pants, unpopular opinion, I actually wear the thermal fleece lined leggings from Primark or Pennies in Ireland. Um, I always carry a size small and I carry a size medium and the reason that I do that is because if it's like a really sunny day I'll just wear these or if it's a colder day I'll wear my Gymshark leggings underneath the medium pair. I find them absolutely like perfect. Um, I don't know why anyone would be paying really expensive money for thermals when they literally cost like six euro. Gymshark leggings obviously they're a bit of an investment but I just find them really supportive and especially if you're wearing something like those slimline suits they can be really flattering underneath and kind of i don't know hold you all together if that makes sense underneath so sometimes when i'm skiing it either gets like way too hot that i don't want to wear a coat or else it's really really cold and i want like extra layers so these jumpers are exactly for that so this jumper is from ice boy my mom gave it to me as a christmas present last year it has a built-in neck warmer snood situation which obviously is so cool but if you look at the fleece like it's fleece lined on the inside so it key it's honestly the warmest jumper like i wear this sometimes in ireland like going out for walks and i am sweating in it like it's actually too warm for ireland which is really unusual i bought this um just high neck like a really plain white neck fleece and then i just have this round neck gym plus coffee um pull on it round neck jumper and this is mainly for app break so like when you i am i'm so bad for like putting on, i put on my suit and then when i get to app break, i'll be like zipping it all down and then i'm like out this jumper is literally just to have like a nice jumper on show for when i'm at app break i actually bought a matching beanie i went to the gym the gym plus coffee sale there in uh, dublin um when it was on before christmas i think it was for their like black friday sale and i bought that matching hat and jumper just after swapping out the long sleeve this always happens to me when i'm packing by the way i'm like oh maybe i want to bring this instead so i have swapped out it's like a long sleeve um like just gym top i swapped it out with the thermal pennies white sleeve top hats i have one funny hat one practical hat end of that's it then i have gloves from decathlon they're absolutely perfect now a lot of people do wear the you know those like glove liner things um i had them like I, the very first time i went skiing i bought them sure i lost them i lost them within seconds and i don't understand how anyone couldn't lose them because they're so thin they're so flimsy like anyway if you still have your original glove liners fair play to you but I don't have time for them. I don't have, like, I think they're honestly like a, like a wild child. Like you can't keep track of where they are. And you're constantly, I just think you're constantly taking on and off your gloves. Well, especially me and Mix, I'm like, I'll be like skiing down and then I'm like, oh my God, look at that gorgeous view. And I like take out my camera and do whatever. But like, if you're having to take off your glove to take a picture, you probably shouldn't be taking the picture. If you're not using like a GoPro or something that is like really easy to use, I just think it's way too much effort to get that photograph. So just gloves, no glove liners. Um, then I have three pairs of socks. So these are just thinner socks. That's why I bring those as a spare. These are my main socks. I have two balaclava. So this is from Through Hike. It is again an Irish company. Um, it has like a big hood and it has a neck warmer in it as well. Now I find it very loose, but I think it's really cute to go over my helmet. So I bought this helmet in Decathlon and I just like to bring it because I just put all my stickers on it that I collect. This goes over the helmet and I think it just makes it look really cute. And then I also have an inside balaclava. I haven't worn this skiing yet. I bought this new this year, but I have seen a lot of people wear it. And I just think especially for me, it like just keeps my hair in. It keeps everything off my face. Um, Like I'm not one of these people who like, you know, looks fab when I'm skiing. Like I'm a very practical skier. Like I won't be elegant. I'll be looking and I won't be looking particularly athletic either but i will definitely be comfortable and i will definitely be warm that's my balaclava to go over my head and like i feel like i could like put this on under this or like you know you could just like take it down and like put on the hat over it when you're at apre i feel like it's very very versatile you know now the obvious essentials 
flat packed underwear and socks. Um, I ignore my labels. I'm a bit of a psychopath when it comes to packing. Yeah, basically, I flat pack all my stuff in Shein bags. Don't come for me for shopping on Shein. These bags are very, very useful. Cozy pajamas. I think cozy pajamas are kind of essential. Hip flask, essential for our frisky. Our food and our drink and stuff is included. So you best believe that I'm going to be filling up that hip flask with red wine the night before. And I'm going to be bringing my red wine, my red wine, my red wine to Apri. Okay, for the evening. First outfit, I just have this bodysuit from Zara with like little shoulder pads. And then I have two long skirts and a jumper to go on top. These are like three slip dresses and then they have a t-shirt to go underneath. But that's one, two, three, four, five evening outfits. I also have the black leather pants if I do want to put on the black bodysuit and the blazer underneath this. I'm actually not going to bring, I was going to bring that top now, but sure, there's no point bringing that. I'm not bringing that. And I also had this dress for the last night because I was afraid like for the last night we might want to go a little bit dressier. But now I'm thinking I'm not going to bring that either. If I could find another top, oh my God, see, this always happens to me when I'm packing. Always. I feel like it happens to everyone. You start like changing your mind. Okay, just leave me for a second. Okay, so I've decided to bring this. I'm not sure what you'd call it, guys, but I'm sure if you watch my skiing video, you'll see what it looks like. It's just going to go with my black um, leather jeans and then this high neck white top to go underneath it. One pair of shoes. If you're only going hand luggage, you only have space for one pair of shoes. I'm saying this over and over again so that I believe it myself and that I don't try and put in my Crocs. Just hear me out. On second thought, I think I'm actually going to bring these because, because they could be really comfy for walking around the house. So I'm going to bring them. I go, will I wear them to the airport? Oh. I actually don't even know where to start. It always fits. Just have to make this. Now there are a couple of things that I wasn't able to fit in. But I'm conscious that this bag has to weigh um, 10 kg. So. Yeah. Always fits. AG suitcase. If anyone doesn't have one, you should get one. Um, I know a lot of people use AirTags. I'm just not an Apple gal. But always put a tracker into your bag. And then this is what's going on my hand luggage. So basically my helmet. I have one of these, one of these clips. And it just clips onto the side of the backpack. These are just my liquids. I always keep these just at the top. We've got... Um, oops, sorry, don't you? So that's all my liquids. I got this strap on Shein for my phone. I put this strap like around my body like this and put it up nice and short and then my phone is like on my person all the time and I find that it stays really warm when I do that. They're all my GoPro accessories, just all my different mounts and they're just my US SD cards, my European adapter. I got this fanny pack in Decathlon and it is literally the handiest thing. So I originally got it for hiking. So you strap it onto your hiking backpack um, or you could strap it onto like a belt. See that kind of that kind of idea? But I find it brilliant for all my documents. So I put like my passport, my purse, um, everything like that in here. And my phone also fits into it. So it's honestly so handy. Um, now all of this stuff somehow has to fit into this bag. I just have headphones in here my wild deodorant just fits in there i always bring an adapter to go with my 
or an uh, extension lead to go with my adapter. There's my medium thermals, my makeup um, and toiletries is just down, down the bottom. Um, I'm not boring you with all of those, but um, then that's, I couldn't fit that top in. Um, and then my medicine is in here. Uh, maybe, no, you don't really need to see all my, the medication. Guys, it's standard, like my ski goggles are in there. Um, I'll show you my ski goggles, actually. If any of you follow Emma Noodle, you probably have seen glasses like these before. Like, bam. I just think they're so cool. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just think like they're iconic. Like, anyway, they're on Amazon. They were like 20 euro or something. I always pack a warm fleece in the hand luggage because when you arrive, like I find that in the airport, like you're sweating because you're carrying off see, all these layers. But then when you arrive in France, like you want another layer. So I always just have that spare. And then there's another pouch down the back here for my laptop. Oh my god, sorry, I almost forgot. This is the last thing that I bring with me. It's just a tote bag. Like, any tote bag will do. I just get this because I find that you can get... If you have anything, like... If you have any brand, like, Lululemon, Victoria's Secrets, um, Pandora, like, any any brand that you are most likely to come across in a duty-free, um, that is a bag that I would pack. And basically, do you know when you get out of the security and like you just have all your bits and like all your bits is just everywhere and like there's people coming up behind you and like you're panicking trying to get everything back into your bag and you can't get it back into your bag because it's after taking like 20 minutes to get it into the bag in the first place. And I whip this out and basically anything that is just taking a long time to get back into my hand luggage, I just throw it into this. So other times I'll just literally keep it out and depending on the airline that I'm flying with. They don't care so like i can literally just have my backpack on my back and then i have the little tote bag and like you just get onto the plane with the tote bag and like no one says anything to you because they just think that you've bought something in the um duty free and that's it that honestly took way longer than i would like to admit and that's it so this is everything that i plan on bringing with me to france I'm flying out tomorrow morning so thanks very much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye